The role of Maxie Jones is being played by Molly Burnett. Oh, fingers crossed this graphic designer we're about to interview works out. We just need to fill that position at Crimson and we will be unstoppable. Cannot believe I tried to have a career outside of fashion publishing. That's where my home is. Just like your home is behind a camera. Right, Dylan? Dylan. Oh, sorry, what? Hi. Maxie, sorry. Welcome back. No, it's okay. I was just complimenting your never wavering passion. Oh, thank you. Thanks. What's going on with you? It's worse than I thought. What is? You think I don't recognize your woe is me? I'm having girl trouble. Oh, face. yeah, I do not have a woe is me. Is it that bad? Like a visible panty line. So spill and tell me everything. Nurse Weber, thanks for coming in. I'm happy to help. I'm interviewing everyone who was on the floor last night, and here's what we know. Dr. May's death has been ruled a homicide, and the ME has confirmed that he had Dorizafol in his system, which seems to indicate that the killer is the same person who injected Lucas Jones. Uh, you were the one who found the body. Yeah, I was. Can you describe to me the circumstances? I had been assisting Dr. Mays with a patient. I went back to check on the patient and found Dr. Mays on the floor. No pulse, no respiration. I immediately called for help and started CPR. And you were alone when this happened? I was. Until Franco showed up. Okay, as much as I appreciate your insight into my romantic troubles... I don't appreciate it, but luckily for you, that doesn't matter to me. Aren't we here to interview a graphic designer? Where is she, anyways? I thought we were going here for lunch. Oh, excuse me. Maxie Jones? Yeah. CJ Bolin, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. And this is my associate, uh, Crimson photographer, Dylan Quartermain. Pleasure. Likewise, and please, call me CJ. I love your dress. Thank you. I like yours. Thank you. And thank you for agreeing to meet with us. Uh, not many people would agree to a job interview at a restaurant on the 4th of July. Oh, so not a problem. Uh, I forgot the mock-ups in the office upstairs. Let me just... Oh, let's look at your photographer, because if you were my assistant, I would fire you. Okay, I'm still getting double pay for the holiday, right? It's not looking good. Be right back. <laughs> okay. Sorry. Uh, join me. Thank you. Everything's a little crazy right now, so... Oh, I know how busy you must be. With all these good-looking men around. I don't know how you get any work done. I see you worked at On the Bias. For three years. Excellent boutique magazine. I love their editor. Carolyn was amazing, and I got a lot of great opportunities there. So then you freelanced for a year and a half. I did. Okay. Mm -hmm. Equally impressive titles. So what makes you want to put Roots down in one publishing company? I can only imagine how amazing it must be to work at Crimson right now. Nina Reeves has really turned that magazine around. She's an excellent collaborator. And that's what I love most about this, the collaboration. I would love to be part of such a rich creative process. We should order. You're engaged. I am. <laughs> I am, yeah, to the most amazing man that I have ever known. And patient. We're um, knee-deep in wedding plans, and he's only freaked out once, so... Here, I'll show you a picture. So handsome, right? Yes, he is. <laughs> uh, so what's your situation? Yeah, if you don't mind me asking. Not at all. Great, okay, so um, married or engaged? Or single and loving it? There's no one special in my life right now, which just gives me more time to devote to the magazine. You should work for Crimson. No one's gonna ask you to forego your personal life, and who knows? All the people you meet walking around, you might find the one. <laughs> <laughs>